To remain safe, please keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, ideas, thoughts, eyeballs inside the boat. And parents, watch your kids. Our journey begins uh, with being eaten by Monstro and ascending to heaven. Like your mother, Monstro's diet consists of fish, mammals, old men in wood. On your right, you can see the oldest living tree in the park, as well as the only one with an active Napoleon complex. On your left, you'll find the Cave of the Big Bad Wolf. Never mistaken for a Seventh-day Adventist, the wolf spends his days chasing after a specific set of three pigs. Living on the other side of the canal, these oinkers feel safe, for the most part. Living in a haystack, a pile of sticks, and the third one, a brick house. He built it tightly, making sure that it all worked out. It is a brick house. He's the one, the only one, that's shaped like a pig in the yard. The story takes an odd turn, as if it were a choose-your-own-adventure book that got turned to the wrong page, because we've been shipped to a hamlet, which is a pig reference, where Alice lives. One time, Alice followed a talking white rabbit and fell down a rabbit hole that led to a confusing place called Wonderland, where arcade games only cost a nickel to play. Alice haunts my nightmares because every time I go to play, I hear her singing this lazy, hazy song and have unfortunately fallen for the offer, take this, it will make you big, one too many times. Coming up is a rags to riches story that takes place in Agrabah, the city of mystery, enchantment, broken fry makers, and Tupperware that farts when you open it. Don't think you can get away with a fart either because they have a parrot that will call you out for one every time. Up ahead is water. These arches, uh, these arches don't do it for me. In the cave ahead is another reference to Aladdin, purported to be the Cave of Wonders. I'm left wondering why there's water running through it now. Now we lock step with Snow White as she escapes the evil queen and meets up with the seven little people and teaches them the importance of cleanser. On the left is where Cinderella tolerated her stepmother and became accustomed to taking abuse. Fear can turn to love apparently because Cinderella now is a queen and no longer lives with her stepmother. Shrubberies. Oh, more plants. Now this area of the canal was inspired by the wonder of succulents. <laughs> I, uh... Well, I will admit that part of that word is dead on for this part of the attraction. Lots of small plants here, cursed by Tinkerbell so that they never grow up. On the left, a reference to Wind in the Willows, Toad Hall appears to be vacant. That's not really a big surprise though, because I know Mr. Toad drives his friends wild. Oh. 
As proof that this attraction does get updated from time to time, you can hear Queen Elsa bellowing up ahead. A theme song for many, the heart of the song is about letting go of responsibility and having somebody else deal with your problems. The Alpine village to the right is home to Geppetto, who wished upon an evening star for a son and was given an anthropomorphic puppet instead whose wood would grow every time he told a lie. There's even a story about a little mermaid who ran away from home in pursuit of a boyfriend and caused her father enough grief that he willfully gave her up in the end. That's okay though, because she was one of 16 daughters he had, so he still has his hands quite full. Now, all stories that don't make a lick of sense eventually end, and just our luck, that's what's happening now. Get out. <laughs> 